All right, what is up guys? I thought I would do a quick video this evening for a bit of damage control. Now, we've been expecting these dumps over the past week to month. And when they do come, it is so hard to recognize opportunity when it is staring us right in the face. So in today's video, I'm gonna take you through all the key signals to show you that we're coming towards the end of our opportunity zone, guys. But before we do get into that, make sure you pause the video, smash that like button, go and drop me a sub, let's get it. Alrighty, guys, I was watching the Euros, I was having a drink, cheers. I was actually cheering on Albania, actually. I was hoping that the Albanian Mafia would, would do something, but they're not, so... I thought, you know what, fuck it. We'll just pause it and we'll make a video. Now, look at the daily RSI for Bitcoin. We have just entered the oversold zone for the fourth time since the bottom at 15K. And when you open it up, if you look at the bottom here, you can see the bottom area just after the dump had usually indicated a key time to be buying Bitcoin before the next rally, okay? And in every single one of these times, everyone was just, super doomer mode and they're saying the rally's over we're going to prices that were stupidly low that weren't even real targets with no clear explanation it was just over for bitcoin okay so that's number one number two i saw this from rec capital and it's actually true i mean extreme fear precedes financial opportunity and it always has i actually posted this in the market watch not too long ago guys but look after the bitcoin etf started trading we saw a 90 percent rally this came after a 77 correction or slash bear market for Bitcoin. Now imagine what is to come for Ethereum and our alts. And yes, I mean, we did have a insta dump right after the ETF started trading because everyone was going long, right? If everyone's going long, the market's usually going to short. But we had a 20% correction and then we had a 90% rally all the way up to new all-time highs. And again, you're seeing here that a red signal has appeared in the RSI for Bitcoin. Over the past two years, this signal has always predicted that Bitcoin is very close to bottoming out or already has reached the local bottom, guys. It is the first signal of 2024. We have hit our red zone once again, guys. Everyone's saying that we're going to 50K, we're going to 40K, we're going lower. Like I said, guys, people will not be able to see opportunity as clear as you and I, and people will start to go straight to the timeline and they're going to say, what if 74K was the top? Now, I've been following Mr. Crypto. I know he doesn't actually mean that, but people will actually start to mean that, guys. Okay, whether it's on X, whether it's on Reddit, whether it's on whatever article you want to start reading online on Google, people will start to say oh what if it was like a double top again okay and then they fud themselves out and this is just a new a new reason for the bull market to be over there's always a reason in these pullbacks for the bull market to be over now we'll check our trading view in a minute and i'll say what this has to do with icp in a second as well guys so chill but look people are starting to say 52k 50k soon it's going to be an even lower target and i'll show you in our trading view which we've been tracking for so long as to why 52k i mean Maybe it flash wicks down there, but why there's so much support above us, guys, okay? Now, people will see 52K and they're going to get scared and then they'll sell their bag at 60 because they say, well, that's, you know, over 10%, that's 15% lower than where we are now. So why don't I just get out of the market and then get back in? Especially with alts, you're playing a very risky game if you are trying to do that, guys. And it's very risky, guys, because you don't know when the switch is going to flip because look what we've been tracking as well. The Bitcoin dominance is losing momentum and once the bitcoin dominance does lose momentum and the eth dominance does pick up as i say to you guys every single day you're probably thinking shut up stop saying that right as i say it to you every single day guys once we do start to have our breakdown in bitcoin dominance that is going to be when it is the real party time for us um yeah i mean these videos are time sensitive so you know icp bitcoin ethereum could be at a higher price when i post this to tomorrow or the next day or the next day we could dump even more right but the fact that we have our targets I'm aiming for our targets until we lose our targets. And I'll say to all of you guys, right, maybe I was wrong. And we're actually going lower than what I first expected. But until then, I mean, if I post a video to, like right now when it's $7.70 and then tomorrow ICP's, I don't know, hits our $7.14 target, it's cool. It doesn't matter because that was a target anyway. And these are still in play, okay? The Bitcoin dominance falling is still in play. We are still at a super high level. We still need to pick up for ETH. ETH is literally about to break out. I'll stop ranting and I'll go, I'll show you guys in a second. Get the price out of your head, guys, because the opportunity is right in front of you and you're wasting time. Now, when we move on to ICP, guys, look at the one week chart. The retest looks super 
healthy, okay? And there are many of you guys who are watching the video now, not all of you, but there are many because you guys let me know, I know you guys by now, right? That have been buying ICP from like $3, $4, $5 beginning of the year. Okay, so your bags were stacked back then. So these pullbacks don't really mean anything. It just means that you can actually use this as an opportunity. And I know a lot of you guys are fully deployed, which, you know, it sucks. We still need to find a way to get more money in DCA in, even if it's a little bit of your paycheck each month. But we're still holding a key retest zone, guys. And that's still going to be in line with our targets that I've been talking about on the channel for ages. So while the price is going down from $20 to 7 to 8 to 6 whatever it may be, and you think, oh my god, like, this sucks... It's actually okay because we haven't broke any key structure yet. Oh, guys, I've been banging on about 59k for ages. Finally, we are basically here, guys. We are still inside of the bull flag. We're still respecting the bull flag. And look what is to come after we break out from the bull flag. We're going to be a six-digit coin for Bitcoin. We're going to be over 100k once we do complete this breakout target, guys. So while we're at 59k, there are going to be people that come in and the retail that come in once we're at like 90, 99k. They're going to look at these 59k buyers and they're going to say, oh my god, you guys bought at 59k. The same way that some of you guys who are new to the channel look at the old videos we was covering when we was covering Bitcoin when it was like Seven, I think 17 or 18k was the first Bitcoin video I made. You guys can go and backtrack that and let me know if I'm chatting rubbish. But it was around that time, guys, and all of our alts were at super discounted prices. You managed to pick up at the right time, okay? And having conviction in your alts, having conviction in the game plan overall, the long-term mindset is what helps you become successful as an investor. Now, look at this, guys. The ETF starts trading in about eight days. The 2nd of July is the key date. We could have some sort of break down again you know bitcoin had a 20 percent correction a few days after the etf started trading live then it had that 90 percent rally so we don't actually have to start to break out for eth bullish straight away it could be like a few weeks of choppiness and then we do break up but it's a very key date to be keeping in your calendar guys and you need to be making sure that you are paying attention to the eth bitcoin pair as well as the dxy as well as bitcoin as well as your alts but look at icp our baby may be giving us the last, last opportunity of a lifetime. I would love to get this $7.14 ICP, guys, and I will tell you that every single day. Okay, if we can get the $7.14 ICP, fantastic, but I'll still keep some money to the side for the full breakdown of this triangle, which is going to bring us to $5.93, $5.94. Okay, and again, as I will say to you, as I repeat to you all the time, please just keep some money to the side so that you know, you are able to deploy on days like today, you put your buy orders in, in advance, so that, you know, you're not really using that capital for anything else, you're not buying shit coins, you're not doing degen leverage, and you're able to just pick up prices that you've been looking at for months, because if this comes and you've like absolutely spunked your whole load over the past month or something like that, then you're going to be kicking yourself when all of us are buying it, and I'm saying, guys, we hit our targets, and then you're on the sidelines, okay, so don't be that person, be be with us. Be part of the family, okay, guys? So ICP, I mean, I'm still looking for that $7.14, still looking for that $6. So that's it, guys. Listen, I'm going to go back and watch the football now. You guys can let me know if you are watching the football as well. You can let me know how you're feeling about ICP, about Bitcoin. Guys, have a drink with me. Cheers. Drink some water. Take a chill pill. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Peace, guys.